The gentleman of Springhouse. Oh yeah. Unlocking the pig. Unleashing. It's the picking beast. time. How long has this been cooking, Mr. Grandinetti, Chef Grandinetti? Seven o'clock this morning. Seven a.m. And these fine gentlemen have been working on it the whole time. She's looking pretty. She's looking real pretty too. What type of pig is this, Chef? This is a uh, Berkshire. Probably weighed about 210, 220. And so dressed, it probably went into the cooker about 140 plus or minus. Uh, what we're gonna do now is sort of uh, allow it to sort of crisp up a little bit. We, we put this beautiful cross hatch pattern into the hog so you could really help yourself to some crackling and it makes sort of the butchering a little easier. I love that. What temperature is, is he looking for? Well, we're looking for like a 165, 170 in the hams. But you can see how the fat runs clear. It's really she's pretty. The key is to get that beautiful, crispy brown skin. Well, you we'll let it crisp back that. up. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, so in about a 6.30, we'll unleash the beast for the piece. Oh, hold on. Let me take a picture while we're here, too. As careful in his photography as he is in his cooking. <laughs> that's a pretty, that's a really pretty hog. That is beautiful. How much does it render down? You, you mentioned the weight at the beginning. Well, you can see there's not really, you know, the fat renders, but maybe, I mean, a quart, yeah. less than a quart. Now that we, so we cover it during the cooking to sort of, that sort of helps temper it. Otherwise, it would just get like, it would almost like, burn if you will so using the caja china you know it's sort of you can't see it and if you're looking you're not cooking type of thing you mm -hmm. got to keep that heat trapped in there so this is probably our well this is like our sixth hop for the year probably but we just we feel we're getting better and better like anything else you know the experience that goes along with the cook uh, just really you're, you're, every cook is better than the last I feel and uh, so we'll put the remnants of the charcoal on there. It should crisp that skin really nice. Uh, there's no there's no temper, there's no uh, buffer with the foil. It should crisp up nice, and we'll we'll be ready to eat in 30 minutes or so. Awesome! Grateful to have you, Chef. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the commentary. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure.